In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Kubernetes spot mapping. So for that, we have to create a Kubernetes cluster first. I've been already created a cluster. So I have one master node and a worker node. Okay. If you don't know how to create a cluster, you can refer my earlier video and you will be get some idea from that. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to demonstrate uh, how to create a Nginx pod. Then uh, I will map one pod number for the particular pod so we can access Nginx from outside. Okay, we can use the public API address or private IP address to access the pod. Okay, so for that we have to create a pod. So before we creating a pod, actually we require a replica set. And before we create creating a replica set, actually we require a deployment. Okay, anyway, I'm, do, I'm going to take a deployment first. And this deployment that is going to create a replica set automatically. And replicas that automatically create my ports. Okay, and uh, here I will take an example of HTTPD, and uh, HTTPD that is a pointing 80 as a container port 80. So I will create a service, and service port I will assume 80, and we can put any custom value that is up to you. Okay, and uh, in Kubernetes actually we can use uh, node port as 30,000 to 32,768. Okay, so that is the default value or we can uh, we can give in between one trace we can allocate. Okay, but when it comes to Docker, actually we can we have a, like a, it's, it's a flexible. We can give like a 3000, 4000, so like uh, as much as we want, like whatever we wish, right? So, but here actually we can only give 30,000 to 32,768. Okay, anyway, I'm going to give a node port as 30,006 and service port as 80 and target port as 8080. Okay. So automatically it will be acted as the load balancer as well. So anyway, let's get into action. Then you will be have some idea. Okay. So first let me go to my master node. Okay. So now I'm in a master node. So I will just execute ls. You can see that I don't have any files over here. So next I will execute kubectl and get all. And this is going to print uh, all information regarding our cluster. How many deployments you have, how many uh, like uh, services you have and how many replica sets you have. You can see that I don't have any replica set or deployments over here. So I'm just going to create a deployment first and automatically it will create a replica set. To create a deployment, actually we have to create a deployment uh, port definition file or deployment definition file. So for that, I'm just going to open nano editor. Then I will execute uh, Gen Nginx port definition. Okay, nginx port definition dot yml open. So let me create a deployment. So for that we have to open API version first. So this is apps v1 version one. So next kind I will select as deployment because since I'm using deployment over that's what. Okay, if you're using pod, you can select pod and uh, the API version will be converted to v1. And if you're creating a service, you can mention service. Okay, and whenever you're creating kind, so this D is case sensitive, so you have to give a capital over here. Same as when you're creating service, you have to give yes as capital, then only it will work, or else you'll be get some error end of it. Okay, so next I need to specify the metadata. So let me just specify one name, and this I'll specify uh, Nginx, Nginx deployment. Okay, Nginx deployment, fine. So let me just put one label as well, labels. So I will just gonna keep tail that is a front end here. Okay. Next specification we have to use. So let me open template. So under template we can specify like uh, uh, how many replicas you want and uh, which kind, which pod actually you're going to create over here. So that everything actually we can uh, define over here. So let me just put uh, Nginx over here. So for that, I just need to open metadata again. So under metadata, we have to specify name and specify Nginx and image. Image I will use. Let me create a list over here. So image I'm going to use Nginx. Okay, so this is Nginx image. So let me just put some descriptive name image. Yeah, fine. So next we have to put specification again. Okay, see actually uh, one thing. So we have to keep labels and all of it. Name, Nginx, that's fine. Port is Nginx, right? Labels. 
Mm, app uh, web server yeah that's fine okay so next we have to give a specification under specification we, we can give a containers under containers we can give name and image name so that's possible so let me just put a uh, name name is nginx and uh, so I'll specify my image name image name that I'm gonna give nginx again so we can put any uh, image name so that is going to create as a port okay so I think everything is okay next we have to select the selector right selector so under selector we have to give the right labels whatever the labels we given over there so label is apps observer right I'll give apps sorry app web server okay fine app web server i think uh, everything is okay now right web server fine okay next uh, let me create uh, okay three replicas for that we have to define replicas that is three i think everything is okay control or enter control x so let's create a deployment so before i will check how many deployments i have so cube ctl so get deployment okay no resource found in the default namespace so as of now we don't have any deployment so let me just uh, create this deployment to create the deployment we have to use kubectl again so we can use create or apply then we have to specify the file name so nginx port definition dot yaml okay some error is there what is the error 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 passing nginx port definition yaml error converting yaml json yaml lane 16 did not find expected key okay let me just try to execute it name labels and tier that okay then speak template metadata name okay labels app okay spec containers okay so now it will be okay right okay control or enter control x let's try again so now what's the error deployment in version one cannot handle deployment strict decoding field spec selector okay selector so we have some issues over here. what is the issue okay so issue is actually uh, we have to use a match labels over here match labels then I'll specify my name to I think now is everything is okay control or control x let's try yeah it's created so now you can see that successfully created I'll just kubectl get ports you can see that three ports are working now okay nginx port okay same as kubectl get deployment yeah so we have one deployment nginx deployment let me check my replica set as well replica set so we have a one re replica set as well okay so now we successfully created as we discussed uh we have a node and we have a deployment so the deployment automatically created a replica set and the replica set automatically created one sorry three port as well okay so now we need to create a service and this service is going to act as a port mapping okay and so here i will use 30006 so when we access 30006 uh, like uh, by using our node ip address public ip address and will be redirect to uh, these two port okay sorry uh, these two containers so first we have to create a node port and service port and target port so let me go to uh, my virtual machine again yeah so i will create a service uh, kubectl get service let me check how many services i have so as of now i have only cluster ip so we don't have any node port like a uh, service so i'm just going to create a service then i will map the service into my particular application so let me try let me check the cat deployment what is it what is the name nginx deployment yeah 
so let me check what is my container label container label is app web server right so just keep in mind because we have to give the same name in our uh, service as well so nano i will give a service then service uh, nginx dot yml again i will open api version so here i'm going to create what so here i'm going to create uh, yeah service so yes this is a capital that's a case sensitive so next metadata so let me just put a name metadata right name so i'll give a service nginx service I'll, I'll just specify nginx service yeah that's fine so we know how to give labels so directly i will go to spec specification then i'll specify type okay i'll specify the type let me just put node port that's fine then ports i'll specify ports so first one we have to specify uh, our node port okay i'm just going to specify node port node port so we can use small in node port that's fine so node port that is as we discussed 30006 let me get this up i public ip okay copy and i'll paste over here let me check whether it's working or not So now it's not working right so let me create first then it will work see it's not working we're not getting any nginx over here so 30006 now we have to create a service port so for that we have to mention port that's enough support so i'm going to mention 80 then target target port target port so that we have to mention 80 again yeah i think everything is okay right so now we have to create a selector app web server right app web server yeah everything is okay control o enter control x let's create this service for that kubectl again and uh, let's create minus of service nginx and yeah that's code created as service kubectl get service svc and you can see that one nginx service has been created node port and 10.102.34.12 right and port number that is mapping to 30006 i'll go to my virtual machine uh, public ap address so i'll refresh and you can see that are we getting a uh, welcome nginx okay so we successfully uh, we successfully mapped uh, one port number to our uh, Kubernetes container, and uh, so we are successfully able to access uh, this uh, port again, right? So if any doubt, please let me know. So uh, you can just yeah put in command, then I can like like uh, help you out. Like if you have any doubt regarding that, yeah, thank you.